Hi and welcome to tutorial 61 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. Uh, if you're not part of our email list then please go to markplex, that's markplex.com and sign up and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. Today's tutorial 61 is a beginner level tutorial which looks at some of the options for coloring the lines in uh, when using a TradeStation Easy Language indicator. So in order to uh, demonstrate this we're going to create a very simple indicator and uh, we're just going to have a couple of inputs. We're going to be using two exponential moving averages, one a little bit faster than the other so we're just going to create a couple of inputs here that we're then going to use within the calculations and I'm just setting them uh, arbitrarily at 10 and 20. We're also going to have a thing called down color and this is something that we're going to use to change the color of the line when certain conditions apply. So let's uh, calculate the exponential moving averages and we're just going to use the uh, value 1 and value 2. So value 1 is going to be x average, that's the uh, trade station exponential moving average, using the closing value of the uh, thing that we're looking at on the chart and then the fast length and similarly we're going to create value 2 is going to be equal to x average again we're going to use the close so this time the length of that is going to be slow in other words it'll replace the slow there with the value that we've set as an input so what we're going to do is plot those values on the chart so we're going to say plot 1 and the simplest form of the uh, of this of using the plot statement is just simply to use a value like this so plot 1 plot 2 value 2 and and let, let's just leave it at that for the moment I'm just going to press F3 to verify it and uh, no problems there so I'm just going to go to the chart and apply what we've done to the chart so far Okay, so there we have the indicator on the chart. Now, we haven't really done anything with the colors so far. These are just the standard colors that uh, that sort of came out of the box. One of the things we could do is we could go Format, Analysis Techniques, and uh, again Format, and then change the color in, uh, in this area here. So you can see Plot 1 is plotting as red. We could turn that to green, for instance and plot 2 is blue we can make it magenta Then, if we go and close that we'll now see that those two lines are plotting different colors. Another thing that we could have done and what I'm going to do here is just remove this from the chart I'm just going to click it and press delete and if we just go back to the program itself and right click anywhere in this uh, this area here and then probably just below where you can see in fact let me just see if I can okay click on properties and then what we can do is we can set the colors within this uh, this area here and then those these values will be attached to the actual indicator so that you don't need to keep changing them every time so let's make plot one a sort of burgundy color and plot two let's make a sort of pale blue and uh, we're going to say OK and going to verify that and now if we go back to the uh, chart and we now insert the indicator again what we should see is that the colors that we just changed to are now being reflected on the uh, the bottom of the chart as uh, as you can see here so I'm just going to remove it again and just make one more change and that would be what if we wanted to actually have the indicator plotted in the same space as the uh, instrument itself so again click on properties this time we want to go scaling um, instead of right axis we're going to say same axis as underlying data I'm going to say OK I'm going to verify that and now when we apply it to the chart again it's going to go insert indicator okay we'll now see that it's applied to the same chart as the instrument itself so let's just go ahead now and make the uh, program a little more complicated and what we're going to now do is within the actual program itself 
we're going to specify the colors and we do that in the the plot statements so we're just going to add some text call it fast and then plot one let's just call make that uh, dark green and then plot two okay and i'm just going to add a name there for slow and let's make this just green and so now if we verify that go back to the chart you'll see now that those colors have been uh, are reflected on the chart and even if we were to now go into format analysis techniques format and change uh, in fact you can see already it's a different color but if we were to change it say to yellow and say okay then you'll see that that has not made any difference to the chart the other thing to notice is that these colors here in the uh, price axis reflect the colors of the actual indicator lines so let's just do one more thing and that is we're going to add a condition and we're going to say if value one is less than value two then we're going to change the color of the plot so we're going to go set plot color and this is just a trade station function here one refers to plot one and the color we're going to use is this one here down color dn col we could have just put in the color itself there but if we set it up as a input then that gives us a little more control if we now press f3 and go back to the chart you'll now see that when the condition is fulfilled the line changes color to yellow and then goes back again and if we go back through the chart you'll see several instances where that occurs and uh, if we were just just for instance to reverse the the uh, value one is less than and make it value one is greater then press f3 then we'll go in the chart and we'll see that it's yellow and that same yellow is reflected in the price axis there anyway um, I hope that that has been useful this is a beginner level tutorial but may be useful to people who are new to easy language and uh, again if you're not part of our email list then please go to markplex.com and I'll be happy to let you know when I release new tutorials or programs thank you